ESPN 2's presentation of the J.P. Morgan Chase Open, brought to you by J.P. Morgan Chase, a proud sponsor of the J.P. Morgan Chase Open. Herbalife, the official nutrition company of the J.P. Morgan Chase Open. Maximize your nutrition, maximize your potential. And Lever 2000 with Vaseline Lotion Ingredients, the perfect match to refresh and replenish your skin. Championship match just about to get underway here. Elena Yankovic and Elena Dementieva, they have played against each other twice, as you can see. It is one apiece at this point. Pam Shriver is at courtside. MJ thinks it's going to be the, um, the Dementieva who's going to uh, triumph today because of her experience. Pam, thoughts? Well, Cliff, you remember last week I mentioned when Kleisters was uh, struggling that I think the person who has the night match, the sem night semifinal match, really has a disadvantage. And in this case, Jankovic had the struggle against Serena. It was a dramatic match. She didn't get to sleep till about 1 o'clock, woke up at her usual time, 8. So she's a couple hours shy of her usual night's sleep. You can get over that with some adrenaline. But I just think against a player as tough as Dementieva, Jankovic needs every edge possible. And I think she's going to have a slight edge off her game. But but we'll find out. She certainly feeds on her emotions, and that can serve her well in a final. She did uh, yesterday in her win over Serena Williams. So it was, uh, it was really fun watching her play. Very light on her feet and moves well. This 21-year-old who lives in partly in Bradenton, Florida. For the most part, though, she's back in Belgrade, what used to be Yugoslavia, now Serbia. In fact, Serbia and Montenegro are going to separate as a country here very shortly, and she's going to have to decide whether she's going to play as a Serbian or a Montenegrin. However, she has played as an international tennis star here this week, and today in the championship match, she takes on Elena Dementieva, who's 24 years old. Moscow, Russia is where she is from. That's where she's still headquarters. about to get underway. Currently ranked sixth in the world. Clementieva lost in the semis last year to Hantu Kova, who went on to lose in the final to Kleisters. And I saw her about half hour before this match. She was very focused, very intense. Yankovic has not dropped the set. Played a couple tie breaks against Mirta from India, Safarova, the lefty from the Czech Republic, the Australian who beat Davenport Stozer 4 and 1, Ivanovic from her same country, and then last night against Serena. Terrific match. Mary Jo, it's great to see her. Those tie break sets that Yankovic won three different matches she won tie breaks and it's just a sign of somebody who's playing mentally tough tennis confident tennis and we saw that last night in the in the tight moments against serena williams pam don't you think today is going to be a little different because demon taver probably a little fitter at the moment than serena serena's just coming back from Indri in a long layoff. It's going to be tougher for Yankovic to wear Dementieva out. Definitely. I think Dementieva also is moving from the back of the court better than Serena. I mean, that's a typical Dementieva point. But quickly, Mary Jo, it's hot down here. It's a big difference from last night where it actually was cool. Break a serve, Dementieva won love. And let's take a look at her lever 2000 keys to the perfect match for Dementieva. She's got to limit her double faults. When she serves under 10, she usually wins. Be patient. That's what she did against Sharapova. She waited for the right time to be aggressive. Her forehand's her weapon. She's got to use it. For Yankovic, the back and down the line. That's her weapon. That's what she did last night against Serena to open up the court. A lot of first serves will be important for Yankovic because Dementieva has probably the best return in the game and the belief factor. She's got to believe that she can win another tournament title. This is her fifth final for Yankovic. Is he talking to me? Quiet, please. 
Keep it down, Pam. <laughs> Long. You think um, Elena is impatient sometimes? Sometimes. I think sometimes she, she tries to do too much too soon. And because she's so fast, she doesn't need to. A little bit like Kleister's. Kleister's can cover the court so well that I feel sometimes she rushes too much. Well, now, Jankovic is not exactly slow around the court either, MJ. No, but I wouldn't put her in the same category in, in speed that the Mateva's in. Jankovic, second time, tries to sneak in, doesn't get in quick enough. And you know against Dementieva, you have to do something with your volley. You just can't float it in, because Dementieva will run it down. Before a slam sometime, have a 50-yard dash um, competition with all these players, and we can see exactly who is the fastest. Or, or doesn't it matter, because there's a sideways movement, as you watch this again, and there's a forward movement. But, it, but speed is such a big part of what, what we're watching now. Quick start. What you need in tennis is those quick bursts of speed. Well, that's why I said 25 and not 100. Yeah. And Lane's Zana. mom travels with her almost every week. Very nice lady, very down to earth. She's telling me yesterday that the most important thing is that her daughter is happy that she finishes school. Elena just finished her first year of college. Takes the pressure off off of her daughter in a way, doesn't it? That I, I, I very much like that. And I was talking to Elena about school yesterday, and I'm such a big proponent of staying in school, finishing high school. I think college is such a tricky thing because these are her prime years on the tour. And she told me yesterday she felt she lost a lot early on this season because she was focused on her studies. So I asked her, well, why don't you wait until you're done with tennis to go back to college? And, oh, that was well played. Let the swinging volley drop. And Yelena said to me, well, how do you know I'm not going to get hurt? How do you know I'm not going to have something that keeps me out of the game and I, I'd rather finish school now? Tough start. Lost nine first rounds beginning of the year. Turn it around on the clay, on the red clay in Europe. She says it's easy to say, and they're nice words, Mary Jo, but how many uh, graduates do we have? It was like one in the entire 108 to be tour. Great start. Not, not disagreeing with you. No, I know. It, it's, it's tough. I mean, a lot of you're competing girls with people who don't finish early. high school. Yeah. Great points. Oh! Jankovic challenged early yesterday against Dementieva, a couple calls. Sorry, against Serena, got him wrong, and then I thought he got a little shy in the second set. And then there were a couple that he showed on the replay that he should have actually challenged and didn't. A lot of strategy involved in when to challenge. Yeah, yeah. Dementieva. Dementieva gets another break. The serve has been all the Russians so far here this afternoon. The championship match of the J.P. Morgan Chase. 